Hey Chris, coming at you from uh, New South Wales, uh, Sydney, Australia. Um, on Tuesday, on the 5th, I saw a news article about uh, Premier um, Baird being in, uh, in, at the West Bank, on the, in West Bank and uh, visiting with the Palestinians. And uh, the news article painted this picture like, ooh, Baird cared about um, the Palestinians and the refugees, but I don't think his sympathy goes very far. I think it's just lip service. Um, he cares about finance. I th the real reason he was in Palestine was to, um, he says in his Facebook, visiting West Bank is secondary. Uh, the real reason was uh, we're in Israel to develop uh, partnerships with medical cannabis research. I guess all the uh, Hollywood movies have gotten their wish, all them movies about cannabis and making cannabis legal and pro-cannabis and all the movies and films have gotten their way. I always say, uh, if you want to know what their, what policy, what the next policy is, what the next public policy is, just watch the movies. They always, always, always prep the population by putting stuff in the movies. And uh, um, back in uh, Seth Rogen, all Seth Rogen's early movies and even his movies now are completely pro-cannabis. And uh, a lot of the films that are put out in the comedy spectrum are pro-cannabis and you pro cannabis and now in Australia they're talking about uh, legalizing cannabis for medical use so he's in Israel developing partnerships on medical cannabis research tech startups and tools to better fight cyber crime uh, I could have told you about that one if you've ever watched any of the other videos on my YouTube channel you'll know a lot about this ridiculous cyber crime crap and uh, it's exactly as um, there it says he said it on his Facebook it's exactly as I predicted I'm guessing Premier Merritt wants to be in next uh, Prime Minister, and the Liberal Party, I think, is uh, pushing to groom this this uh, fine young cannibal to uh, be the next uh, leader of our of uh, this country, Australia. And um, I think that that that's what they're doing, grooming him for that. And I think that his trip to Palestine was just to try to uh, pay lip service. Bah, bah, bah blah 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 to the uh, Palestinian refugees that have come to Sydney and um, any of the um, people that uh, are thinking that he's pro-Palestinian I'm sorry you better rethink your thoughts um, I'll put a link on in the description if I can uh, about an article I read which gives a more clarity on the subject and um, um, I have a personal understanding of uh, the whole situation look I live in a building that's owned by Anglicans. Mike Baird is an Anglican. He's not pro-Palestinian. Anglicans are not pro-Palestinian. Mike Baird goes to church every Sunday. I am living in a building that's owned by the Anglican Church. And it's in this building, students that go to more theological Bible college live in this building. They are the people that I know here. The students that I know here going to more theological Bible college are not nice people. They are not. They are elitists. As a matter of fact, this place here, I've been, since I moved here, I've had the house broken into. Possibly while we slept, I think while we slept even. The computers have been uh, slammed constantly. I can't even use a computer anymore. I have to do this on a phone. Um, we've had our internet communications monitored. We've had our phone communications monitored we have our texts monitored we've had our location monitored because our i can tell by um phone messages left on my um uh cell phone um they've um accessed every single one of our computers and they've done it um remotely and the computers were air gapped i, I i'll talk about that in another video but air gapped now how the heck do they do that Unless they're using a government technology, there's no possible way to connect to a, I don't know any possible way to connect to a machine that's air gapped. Unless, except for um, Stewin, Patrick Stewin's IAMT attack, but they, they're attacking our my power PC machine. They attacked my AMD machine. They attacked my Intel machine. And I ripped out the sound cards for all of, or not the sound cards, the wireless card and the Bluetooth cards for every one of them machines. And yet still, they attacked them, 
they monitor they monitored them they they touched files they read files they uh, changed file uh, attributes they made it so that i couldn't write to usb drives because they made the usb drives read only they changed the ntsf uh, file attribute from uh, read and write to um, file system attribute from read and write to read only now how the heck do they do that the only thing that i can see is that it's government technology that only governments are allowed to have that access to machines and that the government um, taught them so what's the connection here well one of the students here that were attacking me was student minister at premier baird's church the one of the people I'll, I'll say that again there's a group of people that were attacking our computers and one of the guys a completely douchebag seriously folks a douchebag in the highest degree if there was like a level of douchebagness in in uh you know the different levels of hell he would be at the primo number one position serious dante dante's uh different levels of hell seriously he'd be at the top anyways this douchebag is this um minister was not now but he was for a time i think a year he was a minister student minister at the same church that premier bear goes to now if that's not a pretty close relationship well i'm so and plus he was attacking us and plus he's friends with the very next door neighbor there that attacks us on a daily basis so i'm sorry mr bear doesn't care about the palestinians he cares about technology he cares about money he cares about uh and this technology that they have mind you can make a lot of money because they can connect to any machine and it leaves no evidence so when mr baird was in your country i'm speaking to the palestinians when mr baird was in your country i certainly hope you never let him near you when he had his computer or telephone seriously folks these people are not nice people they are not good people they do not care about you they care about themselves they care about their own agenda which is the anglican agenda he's completely 100 baird he's completely 100 percent anglican and because from what I know about these people, that means he's 0% honest.